What's going on, Z Warriors? Mr. Waffles here, and we're here with Kevin D. So he has a very unique deck, which I don't think uh, first time I actually seen this combination. Um, everyone knows like Red Vegeta, but um, I never. A lot of people play him in like in, in Rage Mastery, but it's the first time I've actually seen him in Ruthless. So I'm really excited to see what this is all about. So welcome, Kevin. So tell What's us up? about your What's deck. Up? All right. So I made this deck last night because I just wanted to play a big physical deck. That's that was red that counters twenty. And I feel like this does pretty good. And ruthless mastery, you get like an extra attack every turn. So they have to have like at least two blocks to be like decent in combat. If not, they're just gonna hit for a lot. And once once you get to Vegeta level three, basically all your attacks are like plus three, plus three, which is amazing. And then with the mastery, it'll be like plus five, plus yeah. three. So it's a lot of buffs. Yeah. Um, you want me to get started with the deck? Profile? Yeah. So um, like, and about the deck, like um. What do you think, like, its biggest strength is? Is it, like, um, going to three or, like, any level is pretty good besides one, I would assume? Yeah, yeah. one's... You want to get off one, like, right away, which, for me, it wasn't too bad today. I actually never got a wall breaker on me today, so one was easy to get off. Two's not bad because it's another attack, and if it hits, all your stuff gets plus one, plus one, if it raises anger. And basically, you would want to stay at three. I got to four, like, once today, but I didn't really want to go there. I was only trying to MPVV, and I lost that game anyway. So, three is the MP. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. So, let's yeah get on with the deck and see what you want for physicals. All right. So, I start off with two shoulder grab. I kind of regret this. I wish I played three, but room is kind of tight. I just, um, I didn't really see Ginyu that much today except for one match. But, um, it was pretty good. I like it, too. Um, two landing slash because of all the drill hate, pretty much. And it, it gets rid of allies, too. So. Yeah, how do you like that? Uh, was it, um, um, honestly, we... since it's AT stages, it's not that great. Yeah. Um, it's really only there for the drill hate, and honestly, it never worked. Yeah. Like, they always had the block for it, or... I mean, they waste the block, but honestly, like, I'd rather this go through so yeah. they're in a bad position. Yeah. So I, I'm actually thinking about cutting one for, like, more damage. Yeah. Um, I play two red power lifts just because it's, like, another physical block in a sense. Yeah. And um, it has endurance, and it's AT plus three, and... Basically, it's stuff, like, people don't think about this, and they'll play, like, Sinister Choke, and I'm just like, okay, it's blocked. Yeah. And they'll just forget about it, which yeah. is amazing. And it has Endurance, which is really Yeah, so. Endurance in, like, any deck is really good, yeah. I think, right now. Um, two Forceful Strike. I think about bumping this up to three. The only reason I don't is because it doesn't synergize with two and three on Vegeta. Yeah. Because it doesn't gain anger. Yeah. But it, it is a fantastic card with the Ruthless Mastery. Yes. Um, I played two tandem attack. I added these last minute because I felt like against black, this is just the nuts. Because yeah. um, if it's discarded from your hand by your opponent's card effect, you draw a card and raise your anger one. And it's endurance two, AT plus three. So it's, it's pretty decent, I think. Yeah. Um, three red collision. Um, it just sets up your discard pile that hits, and it's just a lot of synergy. Um, three heel kick because I don't know why you wouldn't run this card at three. Yeah, it's just disgusting. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, three mule kick just because I was worried about the wall breaker and I guess the random sane matchup, but nobody really plays sane, so um, this is kind of a staple, I guess. Um, three double strike just because. When I was at level 3, I got double strike to do like 14, which is just unheard of and stupid. Um, 3 sensor choke because I guess why wouldn't you play that right now? Yeah, and it's also good because like if it turns over, like if you're ever taking damage, you can master just by reviewing the style because as long as the top card is an attack card, it doesn't right. have to be a style attack, you can still use it. So you can still choke from the discard pile, which is really Yeah, cool. that, that's the amazing part about this mastery too. Like it doesn't have to be a style attack on your discard pile. Which is uh, kind of insane, in my opinion, but hey, it works. Yeah. Um, three digs. Um, I don't really win by MPVV in this deck, so this is really just in case I'm really stuck at level one or just the endurance shut off. Which, I don't know, for some reason a lot of people take the six stages, so I don't know, six stages is pretty hefty, I think. Yeah. Especially if you enter first combat against like anybody and this hits, they're done for the turn pretty much. Um, three stack shock. I had this at 2, but I bumped it up to 3, just because, since this is so physical heavy, a lot of people don't save their energy block. Exactly. And this is like an auto crit, pretty much, and it hit raise your year 2, and then if you're at level 1, it's like a 3 in your swing. Yeah. So, I like it a lot. I think what's even, like, really good about the mastery, too, is like, if you, like, if the first static shot goes through, and you know it does, 
uh, you can mastery and then use yeah. it again. So you get six anger, like basically, or five anger yeah. in one shot. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, three gal gun, of course. This is basically the only reason I don't run Turles and I run Fujita instead, just because I really like this card. Yeah. Um, it's six life. Uh, everybody knows what this card does. It's, and you can recycle it, so it's just good. Um, three red restriction. I think this is the MVP card for me, honestly. It just gets around so many things, so many like masteries, uh, personality powers, um, setups, downs, yeah, confrontations, no. any of that stuff. It just gets around it, and that's why I like it. I still play the three stare down though because I don't have spears myself currently. I would play them if I did, but stare down is basically to get rid of your time. Or like something like orange destruction or something like that. Yeah. Because basically, if you time me, then my combat's pretty much over. Like I'm getting anger, but it's not that big. Yeah. Um, Red's observation. I don't really have to explain this. I don't think. Um, time, of course. Can you explain time? Why you play time? Uh, <laughs> time because it's awesome. Uh, uh, for the physical blocks, I play three blocking hand because it's the best. Physical block red has, honestly. Um, I play two red duck because then there's two, and rejuvenation, like in this deck, is actually kind of important. Like, if you feel like you're kind of behind and you have like four in your rejuvenating four is really good. Um, I play two red resourceful blocks. These are like kind of suspect to me only because they don't gain anger. Which I wish there was more, but there's not really. Um, but it's, it is endurance three, so that actually is relevant. Um, even though if your opponent crits you in this deck, it's not that big of a deal because I don't play Dragon Balls or anything like that. Yeah. Um, for the energy blocks, uh, defensive stance, mm -hmm. kind of typical. Um, Red Escape. Uh, I like um, if I'm at level 3 and I use this to go to level 4 just to use that power and draw a card and then go back down to the level 3 that I want to stay at anyway. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And I only play 5 setups, but... I feel like these are staple setups. Yeah, they're good setups. You know? yeah. like, uh, like, Red Relaxation is, I think, probably the best setup in the game. Yeah, I agree. Next to VTP. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, these these right here, these two cards, you just have to play them. Yeah. There's, like, especially if you take, like, if they have ball seven and they enter on you, you just take their ball seven and basically set up your hand. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. And then... Also drawing the bottom card. And, right. Yeah. And, and, and uh, gaining two stages, which actually does help because um, some of these like Fiji is kind of weak when he's a villain so like the stages actually matter yeah and uh, VTP just because it's VTP yeah. like people are like scared to enter if you have VTP out yeah even, even myself included so. yeah awesome man like now is there anything that you would change because you um like I guess the lightning slashes yeah probably probably a lightning slash maybe even cut two honestly yeah and um probably a third shoulder grab mm -hmm. Um, I really want to fix the physical block lineup. Yeah. I feel like th there's got to be some other cards that actually make it pretty decent or maybe just other attacks. Yeah. Um, but, like, the attacks in general, I think, are pretty good. Um, there's, I don't know, other than that, I think it's okay for now. I'm kind of just, honestly, I'm just waiting for set five. Because, yeah. Because um, this is, like, a fun deck to me. Yeah. Even though, like, it's decent, but it's not... I wouldn't count on it to go, like, eight rounds in the tournament and yeah. do, like, really, really well. But it is fun, and it can cut your opponent off guard. Now, what do you say, like, its hardest matchup is? Uh, is there any specific matchup in general? Um, if Ginyu gets a jump on you right away and they have, like, three allies out, that's mm -hmm. really tough. Because unlike the old mastery, there's not that many auto crits in here, if you notice. Um, that is something I thought about, the physical attack that, like, auto crits, and then if it hits... Oh, knee lift? Yeah, yeah, that's that, why I play Neelift as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's actually an underrated card that it should probably be playing just because of stuff like that. But, like, it's good against 20. Um, it's good against Krillin, I think. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's just, like, allies hurt the stack in time and, like, yeah. stuff like that. Now, what about um, Red Energy Blast? Um, it's uh, energy, four stages. Raise your anchor one banisher drill or ally. I had that in like the first build I had, and then I ended up taking it out because I thought it wasn't worth it. But now that I think about it, these probably should be that. Yeah, that way you guarantee at least whatever you're trying to remove. Yeah, and the energy attack is probably gonna hit, honestly. Yeah. So I mean this I don't I think I hit like once with this yeah. all day, which was and plus you have observation and if you wanted to you can run premonition to search it out if you want to go that route as well. Right, right. I I I've been thinking of that. I do like the five setup lineup because yeah. 
for some reason I get really unlucky sometimes and I hate losing a game because I drew two setups. Yeah. Because that's literally that's luck. There's no skill in that. Yeah. So I'd rather just take the loss like a man instead of losing to unlucky yeah. cards. The good thing at least about this mastery is if you draw a relaxation, you could always just reveal it for the mastery so yeah. you don't I, I've had to do, do that like a couple times and it makes you feel better about it because it's like, oh hey, I'll draw it later. Yeah. You know what I mean? So awesome. I mean, I'm loving it. I can't wait to kind of turtle around with it. I might make some changes, but uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, cause like so, with my turtle is like knee lift just helps you list again. It's to swing momentum because uh, you want to try and clear your opponent's board and just kind of focus on the MP as much as possible. So if they have an ally, you just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a Dragon Ball. A lot of them they don't expect it, and also with um knee lift um with this mastery, you know, you could potentially lower anger three because you know by the crit. Um, right. By the hit, and then um, by the other hit effect of, um, you know, uh, knee lift. So it can be a potential anger three lowering card, which is insane. You know? it, yeah, it's cool that, like, you can play this mastery, and, like, you don't really need wall breaker. And wall breaker itself, I don't think is that great, unless it's against an anger deck. Yeah. It's like an AT plus one. Yeah. Like, I'd rather play Devastating Blow or Shoulder Slam, maybe, or something. Yeah. Against, like, every other deck. But if... You play Wahlberger against, like, basically any deck that's not Anger. It's just a dead card. Yeah. And I hate, like, playing it against Black, and they Black Evasion and put it on top. That's just yeah, charming. For sure. So, I mean, it looks like a lot of fun, and the Powerless I, I really like as well. You know, an extra mm -hmm. um, buff and to stop. Because a lot of times, you know, if you have, like, an energy that you want to use, like the Galaga, and you can know you can enter with the power lift. No, you're not going to take stages to make way of the Galagon or something like that. So, right. yeah, and if you ever do want to go like a more energy route, you know, you can max out on like the power lifts and stuff. So, yeah, you definitely it. can. You can make it kind of energy build. Like, uh, I forget what the energy is called. It's from set one, the rare, where it costs three, but you draw the bottom card. You oh, your left bolt. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, I may test that out as well. It's just I'm a little scared of getting stage locked myself. Yeah, exactly. Because it costs three. And yeah. That's, that's pretty hefty, I yeah. think. So. Yeah, so awesome. So thanks again. So what are you looking forward to for a set five? Do you know, um, I like sixteen personally. Um, yeah. He's not my favorite, but Android wise, he's my favorite. Uh, yeah. I'm a cooler fan, so I'm kind of waiting until sex six. Yeah, set, set six, six, honestly. Yeah, um, that's when we're probably gonna get Gohan most likely. Right, and, but I do like set five with like Cell and stuff. Cell's always been like pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but I do like diversity in this game. That's part of the reason why I love this game because. It, even though there is like some decks that are stronger than others, you can play like so many masteries and personality combinations. Yeah, and each combination kind of gets better every set. So you know, exactly. always just come back and revisit, and all of a sudden, what was probably okay in like set three is now like amazing in set six or something like that. Yeah, something which that's awesome. I think. Yeah. I don't think any other card game that I know personally does that. No, definitely not. This game is probably the most uh, diverse in terms of MP combinations, and even with the style, you have different masteries within that style. So some might play ruthless Vegeta. Am I playing Rage Vegeta? Exactly. Totally different build, you know? Yeah, nobody really has the same build. Yeah, even within their build. It's crazy, you know? Like I said, deck construction and everything. So, thanks again, man. So, hopefully, I'll see you at some more events. Are you going into any events in the future? Uh, I know I'm going to the ARG State. Um, oh, yeah, in New, New Hampshire or New Hampshire? Yeah, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. And then after that, I think there's a, I want to say a 1K in the same place, actually. So okay, yeah, Midnight place. Comics. So. Yeah, Double Midnight Comics. Yeah, That's a shout out place. to Midnight Comics, JJ, yeah. Peñas, mm -hmm. Scott Dashy, all the, Free Scott all Dashy. The yeah, all yes. of them. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hopefully when regionals come, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Cause, uh, and I, Eric. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Um, yeah, I'm really looking for a regional season, though. Yeah. Uh, even though I don't agree with only top two main in the world, I think that's kind of weird. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I got top eight, the one regional I went to, so I just want to improve on that. Oh, what did you get top eight with? I would top eight with Orange Krillin. And I oh, yeah. 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 Same here in Virginia. Yeah. So. Orange Krillin is. Yeah. It's and good. we had someone playing it today. And then, uh, yeah, they you... went on the feet in the rounds. Yeah. And then, you and know, they lost my boy Ben over there. <laughs> and then we got the, got the squad. Yeah, yeah look at the squad over here. Look, look, look at this. Squad up. The look, at this. look at two top eaters over there, top four. And uh, things happen over there. Yeah. Right Yo, I go to Worlds. <laughs> so, so, tiebreaker sucks. So, yeah. what can I say? So good. So. Yeah, so until next time, Z-Wars, you guys see the deck, you know, give it a try. You know, if you like what you saw, just give it a like, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. So yeah, Subscribe to this man. Thanks. I appreciate it. And let's get some wild ones, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, ladies, Z-Wars, Mr. Waffles out.